let's talk about practical evidence-based tools that can be used in seconds. People often don't think of these quick, easy things as effective, but if you practice them on a regular basis, I guarantee you they will help. Number one, big, deep, abdominal breaths using the four, seven, eight technique. Count four seconds in as you breathe in, Hold for seven seconds and then let out your breath, counting to eight. Just five big deep breaths like that. And clinicians can do that regularly during their shifts. Wash our hands for 20 seconds. We can take a couple of those big deep abdominal breaths. They work. They work to decrease stress. They work to improve sleep. So again, it's practicing that. It's simple, but not easy to begin to make that a habit throughout your shifts, throughout your day. Secondly, gratitude help so much. We have so much research that shows waking up in the morning during your shift, thinking about two or three people or things that you feel appreciative for, naming them. Positive self-statements. I am strong. I am healthy. I will get through this. Those are some of the cognitive behavioral skills building techniques that are incorporated in a program that I started to develop through research 25 years ago. It's called Mind Body Strong for clinicians. We know cognitive behavior therapy is the best evidence-based treatment for depression, anxiety, and stress. But so few people get it. So I started to develop a manualized CBT-based program through my research called COPE about 25 years ago. I've continued to refine that program we recently adapted it for new nurses at our medical center with great outcomes, drops in depression, stress, anxiety, and improvements of, in job satisfaction. So one of the quick techniques that I teach people that can really help them during their shift is if they feel their mood change. If they feel their stress, their anxiety, depressive symptoms rise, I like people to say to themselves, what was just going through my mind right now? Because I will guarantee you, it was probably a negative thought. If we can help people to get good at monitoring their thoughts, to pick up those negative thoughts, turn them around right away. Stress and anxiety will definitely go down. So we've got to use the evidence-based tools, the evidence-based programs that we have and not wait 25 years to get them translated into clinical settings to improve outcomes. Mm -hmm.